I've been working on this video for quite a while. Thanks to Beyond ATC. Beyond ATC connected. But I think I finally got it tuned in. And I may be able to even do a VFR flight. Welcome, I'm Brent Pilot. If you're brand new to the channel, I am a real pilot, self flying since 2005. And I'm trying to load this, basically fly a star into Orlando. But on the simulator, I don't like taking very long flights and airliners. I like GA, short uh, short hops. I do not like Beyond ATC. Every time, every time I use it, I dislike it more and more. I tried taking off from a small airfield, like a grass strip airfield. And it said, uh, there's no parking here, so we can't use this as an airport. Like, what? But I have modified it finally, and uh, we're going to give it another go. See if this works. Hello? Check, check. Do I have to reset this every time? Ocala ground, Echo November Tango, on the ramp, ready to copy IFR. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Ocala Tower, clear to Orlando Airport. Radar vector Shrek, then as filed. Maintain 4,000 feet. Expect 5,000 feet, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.6. Squawk 6552. Whoa, what is happening? A bus just drove through me. Roger, cleared to Orlando Airport. Radar vectors strike thin as filed. Maintain 4,000. Expect 5,010 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 118.6. Squawk 6552 for Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Read back correct. Call me back when ready for start or taxi. Ocala Tower. Echo November Tango is ready to taxi. Ocala Tower, ready for departure. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Ocala Tower. Wind 015 at 4, fly heading 130, runway 36, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 36, Echo November Tango. Okay, what's up with my rudder? Not very authoritative on that rudder control. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, reset transponder. Squawk 6552. Squawk 6552 for Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Contact Jacksonville Departure. Have a good one. Going over to departure, take care, Echo November Tango. Jacksonville departure, Echo November Tango, climbing through 1,600. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Jacksonville departure, radar contact, climb maintain 5,000, altimeter tree 005. Climb maintain 5,000, altimeter 3005 for Echo November Tango. 
Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Clear direct Shrek. Grisomo navigation. Clear direct Shrek for Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Contact Jacksonville Center 134.4. Contacting center on 134.4 for Echo November Tango. So I am going to direct to Shrek. Ah, yes. Uh, there's Shrek, so I'm going to intercept that. 45 degree intercept for that course to Shrek. Then cleared to Shrek, so now I can join that. I was going to follow the star, but I don't have it pulled up. I'm just going to follow uh, ATC. I input the waypoints, but I don't, I don't know if that entered, uh, interpreted as following the, the star. Jacksonville Center, Echo November Tango at 2,900. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Jacksonville Center, Roger. Right, let's do some programming. Set up some autopilot. All right, looks good. We're all set up with our autopilot heading towards Shrek, which will then take us to the, the Holop uh, initial approach fix for the 18 right RNAV approach to Orlando. Set up for 18 departure at Ocala, but yet it took me on 36. Uh, Beyond ATC had that. Not in not been impressed with beyond ATC. Can't wait to get say intentions. I'm going to try one of my typical flights to fly VFR with uh, well I have to do a flight plan for beyond ATC to recognize it so I'll do a VFR flight plan go from uh, you know 50 nautical miles within 100 nautical miles of airport to airport just for a touch and go and then a return and see how that works works out. They, Beyond ATC tries to do it uh, with too much IFR influence, but we'll see how it works. Uh, I think I was, it was pretty close last time. I tried something remotely similar to it. Went from one airport to the same airport, and uh, it was acting a little weird, but it I saw what it was doing. It was fine. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Contact Jacksonville Center 133.325. Have a good day. Contacting Jacksonville Center on 133.325. Have a good one. Echo November Tango. Okay, auto tuned. Jacksonville Center, Echo November Tango at 5000, heading at 130. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Jacksonville Center, Roger. That's the best part of this, the handoffs. It's a, it's a great feeling to know that you're being watched in the air. I mean, it's good to see and avoid, but a little hazy out here. Um, I'm not sure if this is live weather, but it is very hazy on the horizon. There could, could be an air, airplane in there. So I'm glad I have an extra set of eyes. I do have traffic on my G1000. 
that I could pull up. This looks great on my tri monitor setup. here on the map uh, if, it if we were on the Shrek 2 arrival we'd be heading to towards Stinky one of the last points before hand over to MCO approach this will be the first ever flight that I take with Beyond ATC and fly the whole route that I had planned. I, I, like I said before, I don't like long drawn out flights in any plane uh, on a simulator. In real life, fine. I mean, it, yeah, it's beautiful, but not the same like in real life. I mean, I can look around, I can You know, I would uh, look out the window. I don't know, it's just not the same. It looks the same, but it doesn't feel the same. There's often times that I'm flying for real and I often think how much it looks like the simulator just that element of being there is just a little different now there's an airport over there on my right side I see I'll swing the camera over to the main recording screen. Right there. And that. airport. I don't know if it's open or not. It looks kind of barren. I'm going to hit verify next fix over here just to get some action going. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Please verify name of my next fix. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Jacksonville Center. Expect radar vectors, runway 35 right. No, that's not the... What? Expect radar vectors, runway 35 right. For Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, verify instruction. Expect radar vectors, runway 35 right for Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, I show you going direct Holop. Roger, direct to Holop, Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, contact Jacksonville Center 134.0. Going over to Jacksonville Center 134.0 Echo November Tango. Hmm. 
I was. Jacksonville Center, Echo November Tango with you, 5,000. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Jacksonville Center, Roger. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, fly present heading, descend and maintain 4,000 feet. Altimeter 3002, Orlando Airport landing, runway 35 right. Yeah, I was with Jacksonville Center, now I'm back. Well, it's probably a different sector. Fly present heading, descend and maintain 4,000. Altimeter 3002. Landing runway 35 right for Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Contact Orlando Approach 134.05. Contacting Orlando Approach 13405 for Echo November Tango. Like when I bug them, they start chiming in with all, all kind of instructions. Okay, going to 183 degrees. Heading toward Hollop. Fully on autopilot. I can see MCO from here. Naval, Honor, those are the points that were on the RNAV. Approach chart. That should be MCO right, right off the, uh, the dash there. Right on top of the dash above the Garmin word on the MFD. All aircraft be advised information mic now current. Altimeter 3003. Okay, they are on. I have a stuck mic. Wow. The approach would be close. What? No, I can't do that. Okay, I broke the autopilot. I have to stay with tower. fly this from now on. Hopefully Beyond ATC can take me in. <clears throat> Give them a little prod.
Orlando, Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, 3600 with information mic. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, Orlando Approach, Altimeter 3003, expect the visual approach runway 35 right. <sighs> Altimeter 3003, expect visual 35 right, Echo November Tango. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, turn left, heading 190 vectors for the approach. Expect further clearance in about two five miles. Left heading 190, vectors for approach. And we'll wait for those instructions. Echo November Tango. Beyond ATC's taking me, but I'm right over MCO. I know that airport when I see it. Way past hold up. So I don't know what to put in now because Beyond ATC's taking me somewhere. Unless they're well, they're gonna turn me around for three five, even though I programmed one eight right. The RNAV or one eight right. I, th I thought I selected the runway. Yeah, arrival runway. Oh well, it gets me there and allows me to land. It'll be my first successful flight, full flight with Beyond ATC. My flight director's yelling at me. I could turn it off. Accept that raised RPM just so we can move this along. Trying to stay on 190. I am hand flying this. No more autopilot. I'm going to take it to the ground. Slowly, slowly making my way back up to 4,000. I'm beginning to wonder if you don't bug beyond ATC if it even will chime in. Because they've only given me instructions if I asked for something like a radio check or a wind check. Like, oh yeah, there's that guy in the sky. Maybe we should say something to him. This yoke is uh, very, this yoke control, the aileron control is very touchy. It's not this hard to maintain in real life I could change the dead zones I guess getting pretty far from MCO for a Cessna 172 I don't what is the deal Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango please verify name of my next fix Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango turn left Heading 065, intercept the 35 right localizer, descend and maintain 1,500 feet, altimeter 3003. Uh, thanks for responding. Uh, left, heading 065, intercepting the 35 right localizer, descend and maintain 1,500, altimeter 3003, Echo November Tango. The localizer? on an RNAV. Okay, I guess I'm not on RNAV. I need to program this in. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Descend maintain 1,500. Descend and maintain 1,500 for Echo November Tango. Alright, procedure time.
I need to select a new approach. Apparently I'm going 3-5 right. Six five, whoa, six five, okay. Intercept. That's my intercept approach, so I'm looking for that. And I want to put autopilot back on. Nav. Tameter. Tameter is one thousand five hundred. All right, take me in. So um, I'm intercepting the localizer. It's flashing. I'm lining up with it, or the autopilot is. Boom, right there. Getting back onto it. I need to go down, not up. Vertical speed, vertical speed, where you at? There it is. Stall. What? Okay, that looks good. Man, what is what are these wind gusts? Need to lose some altitude. I'm gonna go down to idle to get down. Hughes final approach. I'm at the final approach fix, so I'm gonna put a notch of flaps in. Okay, got a notch of flaps. Should be uh, should be faster than this. That's stall speed. Should be at 90 knots here. Maybe 80. I'm at 2,100 for 1,500. Approach attitude. Wow, it's gonna stall. What's it trying to do to me? Yeah, I'm messing with the trim. Stall. And I don't like what autopilot's doing. Stall. I'm gonna disengage Stall. autopilot. Stall. 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 Why is this trim so crazy? Five hundred. Trim is going to mess up my full flight. Okay, there I am, 500 feet per minute, red and whites, and through captain bars. I don't think I, did I cross over to tower, did I change frequency to tower? Raising my flap, pulling back the aileron all the way back for maximum aerodynamic braking. 
kind of stay on that center line and applying some brake well that's the parking brake but I don't have tow brakes programmed into the yoke get off here at November 3 Orlando Ground Echo November Tango is off the runway, ready for a taxi to parking. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. I didn't get that. Hmm. Orlando Tower requests transition to ground. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango. Request not understood. Who am I on with? Orlando Ground, Echo November Tango's at November 3, ready for taxi parking. Bravo Romeo yeah. Echo November Tango, did not copy. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, request taxi to the ramp. Bravo Romeo Echo November Tango, welcome to Orlando Airport. No suitable gates for your aircraft exist at this airport. Taxi at pilot's discretion. Really? No gates exist. There's no GA parking. Orlando Ground, you mean you have no t parking for GA aircraft? You don't have a GA ramp? See, this is the thing with Beyond ATC. Uh, if you're not in the, if it's not in the script, you're not getting anything. I know you can park at an airport in a Cessna. I've been to many uh, international airports, big airports, in a GA aircraft. Fine, I'll park here. Well, I've put up with Beyond ATC long enough to make one successful flight. I might try something else with VFR from a nearby uh, an airport to another nearby airport. Other than that, uh, I think I'm done with Beyond ATC until I get Say Intentions. The uh, full version sounds amazing with the uh, emergencies pack, the maydays, and just the aerial tours are very uh, intriguing to me. But thanks for joining me on this crazy flight. Please don't use this for instruction because Beyond ATC is not very accurate. But again, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed one.